show going. And the local fella here has been doing it for a couple of years. I haven't seen him, but he cracked me up backstage. Please welcome Jackie Strella. How are you? Good. Been hiding over there quietly. Nobody's been talking to me. Don't talk to me now. I'm very charming. It's my shitty superpower. It is. Guys, I have a really crappy superpower. It's the ability to charm women and not sleep with them. It's like I'm wearing a fatty kryptonite layer. God, it's cold, eh? Obviously. I had somebody come up to me and I was like, man, it's freezing outside. They're like, you shouldn't feel cold. This thing doesn't have a zipper on it, guys. I can't take it off. But I was outside having a cigarette and uh, I noticed my ears weren't cold. And then I heard a voice. Hey, Jeff, it's your body. Remember when I took your hair away when you were 20? <laughs> Really sorry about it. Um, listen, I went and I put it on your ears. I'm like, thanks a lot, buddy. I, it's okay, I don't want the gift. While I was at it, your bum won't be cold either. <laughs> My body's a shitty friend, guys. Oh, man. I'm gonna tell you something right now. The room's gonna get really quiet. I'm 36 and I live at home. <laughs> Vagina's closing up once. <laughs> Guys, it's so hard to leave. It, the food is so good. It would be like being in prison and there's a gourmet chef. You're not gonna leave. And it's free. <laughs> um, I'm a first generation Canadian. Uh, my parents are Portuguese. Anybody Portuguese here? Good, so you're not uh, fearful of wooden spoons, I get it. Um, it's kind of cool living at home. I help them out a lot. Um, like, when you're first generation Canadian, your parents are immigrants, the language is okay, but you have to help them fill out forms and stuff. So I, uh, I help them with forms, you know, government forms and stuff, and my dad calls me over, he's like, Jeff, I need you to go to the government office with your mother tomorrow, because you have the day off. I'm like, sure, no problem. Um, Go to the government office with my mom, we're driving there. And I say, hey, do you know some cars leaning to the left, the driver's side? I think I have a flat tire. She looks at me and she says, are you sure it's the tire? Because Jeff, you eat a lot and you don't exercise. I think they're trying to get rid of me too because the portion sizes are getting smaller now. What really shocked me the other day, my bed was not made, guys. Come on! <laughs> But it, they've gotten better because the guy down the street who, uh, he got divorced and moved back with his, with his parents, he's the same age as me, uh, and then murdered them. Oh, no. yeah. It's been easy sailing for me, guys. <laughs> Chocolate on my pillow every morning. It's fantastic. Uh, so yeah, I went to the government office with my mom, and uh, we got there. Weird thing, it was in a medical building, which I found kind of weird. Uh, and when we got in the office, uh, there was only women there, like older women, no sons with their with their mothers. My dad had tricked me. It was a guy in my office. Yeah. Wow, I'm going to lose you guys on that one. Yeah, my dad tricked me to go to the gynecologist with my mom. Yeah. Nice dad, eh? Man, I got to move out. So I was there, and we're filling out the form, and I'm like all nervous. Uh, women are looking at me like either that's a really ugly woman or the operation went terrible. <laughs> we sit down, we fill out the form, I'm like, first name, last name, this is gonna be a breeze. And I flip the page. Uh, just give me a second, I just had an image of the page. <laughs> like me and my folks are close, but we're not intimate like that. <laughs> Here's pictures I have to Google late at night, guys. Here's pictures of boobies. With the caption, do you have any soreness? That's something that comes up at the dinner table. So I text my mom, and I'm like... Mom, I love you. She 
didn't skip a beat. She goes, no, but every once in a while, Jeffy, there's milk. <laughs> Portuguese people are notoriously cheap, guys. I started thinking to my childhood, I don't remember having milk in the house. Yeah. Sour cream. <laughs> No, don't worry, it gets worse. <laughs> so then we had to go downstairs. And I didn't have the word for vagina in Portuguese. So the closest thing I could get to in my vocabulary was corner. I know you're all looking at me confused, but it's like sort of like the corner of the legs. Come on. It's more of a cul-de-sac, but let's not get any technical. <laughs> the word for corner in Portuguese is spelled C-O-N-T-E and he is silent. This one person got it. I'm trying to get it. C-O-N-T-E, and he is silent. The O sort of sounds like a U. So everything's fine with my mom's corner. She's gonna be okay. But as I was leaving, he, thanks for ruining the joke, man. Jesus Christ, there's always one, isn't there? Yeah, I called my mom a cup for 10 minutes, okay? And that's pretty much it. Anyways, you guys have been fabulous. Have a great night. Thank you, everyone, for your host.